Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing for you guys the brand new Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 Morphe Collab. I am going to show you how I created this look and give you my thoughts about the palette. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. I want to let you guys know first before we get started that this video is in collaboration with my friend Crystal K Beauty. I'm going to leave her channel and her video linked in the description box down below. You guys check her out. She's so, so amazing and she is one of the most humble people I've ever met. She's a really, really great YouTuber. She consistently uploads and she gives her honest, unbiased opinion about every product she reviews. So go ahead and check out her video to see the look that she created using this palette. All right, so I went to the Morphe store today and I picked it up. Here it is. This is the unit carton. It almost reminds me basically of her highlighter launch. The packaging for this is very similar. The back of the palette has her picture here and then it has a nice little message to her fans. I'm sure as many of you know, Jaclyn Hill has been through a lot and her first collab with Morphe, the original Jaclyn X Morphe palette truly put her makeup career on the map. She had done collabs previously in the past, but nothing tops her first palette that she made with Morphe. It truly was a game changer and everyone, it's like a household palette, like everybody has that palette. So a couple years later, she finally made a second palette with Morphe here. It is the Jaclyn Hill palette volume two. So that leads me to believe there might be more in the future. It says on the inside to all my loving subscribers who have supported me all these years, this one's for you, XOXO Jaclyn Hill. And here it is. First impressions, you guys, right off the bat, when I went to the store to pick it up, I was so impressed with the way this palette looked. In person, it gives you a whole different feeling and different vibe compared to the images that you see going around Instagram and Twitter. I really just think it is so beautiful and when you see it for yourself, it just appears to be much more versatile than it looked initially in my opinion. Packaging is very basic, it's the same exact as her first collab with Morphe. A lot of people complain that there isn't a mirror in this palette. To me, I don't see the point in a mirror. The palette is pretty big and it's not something that I can see myself holding up in front of me. That to me is not an issue. Also, if you bought a palette in store today, you probably received one of these little brush bags for free. It's a Jaclyn Hill bag. I, for some reason, thought that there were brushes in here, but duh, they're not gonna be giving away brushes for free. However, this bag is cute. Um, so I thought that that was nice. So there's 35 shades in the palette and it does retail for $39. It says on the Morphe site, live your best life with 35 bossy brights that won't back down. It has matte shades, shimmer shades. There's one in here called satin. Otherwise, it's all shimmers and mattes. Whether or not you like Jaclyn, I am here to give you my honest review about this palette, so I do want to show you guys how I created this look and give you my thoughts, so let's get into that portion of the video. Okay, so I've zoomed you in a little bit closer, and now we're going to start with the look. I've already primed my eyes using ColourPop Concealer and Kylie Cosmetics Setting Powder. I'm going to use the shade Certified, and I'm going to place that all over my lid. I'm going to just do the right eye on camera, and then to save time, I'll do the left eye off camera. This is described as a matte pearl shade, so I thought it'd be perfect to place all over my lid as a base shade. Next, I'm just going to go for it here. I'm going to go in with the shade called My Man, and I'm going to place that right above my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Heart On, and I'm going to place that over top of My Man just to deepen it up. And now I'm going to apply the shade Therapy Sesh right here in my inner corner. I go over it just slightly with the shade called Not My Journey. Now it's time to go in and cut the crease. I go back in with the shade Certified and I'm just going to fluff out so that it doesn't look too harsh. Now let's go under my eye with the shade No Joke, which is the pure yellow shade here. Oh, 
I also want to highlight with the shade I'm in it. Okay, I'm going to go do the other eye off camera, add some lashes, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I wanted to zoom you guys in really close so you can see how these shades over here kind of patched a little bit, especially here when I tried to blend into the cut crease. And over here, it's definitely like it kind of clumped there. I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed by that. I just wanted to show you guys up close what it looked like. Okay guys, so here is the look all complete. I think it turned out gorgeous. I will be honest with you guys, I think the palette performed very well. I did have a little bit of trouble blending shades crazy and not my journey together, but otherwise, everything performed beautifully. That yellow, you guys, is so gorgeous, so pigmented. I know you guys hear it a lot through all of <laughs> everyone's reviews but I'm just giving you my honest opinion about this palette the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 Morphe collab is definitely something you're gonna want to pick up if the color story interests you I'm definitely not disappointed so thank you so much for watching my review you guys please don't forget to check out my friend Crystal's channel everything will be linked down in the description box below before you go hit the subscribe button turn your notification bells on leave me a comment give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye guys